Yo, 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 what's going on? What's going on? It's Terrell Hall of Fame D Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Look, I don't have a bunch of time to um, do this, okay? So uh, I did jump back on a little bit, and instead of being um, confrontational or whatever, uh, I'll just say it is, is what it is. Uh, the homie Ellis put up a post on Facebook and he put up two particular dogs and he asked, you know, he said taking these two dogs together with, with Marco Suarez, these type of dogs with Marco Suarez's blood would, you know, make the perfect dog or whatever. And this is how it goes. And then he used Mandela and the bear as an example. And I just broke it down. And, um, I broke it down like this, whereas, you know, extreme dogs, no. And I had it for a reason. And me and him came to an agreement uh, behind the scenes on, on what I was talking about and what he was talking about. And I understand what he was trying to say, but I always have to be um, on top of things to not for people to not get it twisted. We can talk about phenotype and say, hey, if we mix these two type of dogs together, what kind of look would we come up with? And it could be a beautiful thing. But we cannot take away from the other issues. And first and foremost, I did say that there were the, 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 the extreme blood. When you talk about the bear, the bear on the top is a lot of Suarez blood on the bottom is lime bread. Mama Mia Denzel. He's he's double Denzel. But by one way, it's Magoo there. Uh, Magoo has Dax. Dax goes back roughly 10 percent is 12.5 percent. The 12.5 percent of his blood would be the only blood that you would consider to be extreme, which would therefore make him 87.5 percent blood that we will say is probably not that extreme blood which seems to be plaguing our bullies with um issues and then you go to mandela and mandela once again comes with the mama mia strain with his mom being jada who was sisters to two, uh to two of the dogs that's on the bears pedigree uh denzel to mama mia but also i decided to take that bitch to bistro which bistro has a lot of edge blood going all the way back through heartbreaker and nemesis very very good blood bigger dogs taking it to you know a more uh pocket dog and bringing those genetics in with the mama mia and denzel stuff and making another beast so I explain these things and it's not hating. This is education. This is how we make dogs. I, I'm not hating on anything. So then I guess it always happens. Somebody gets in their feelings. So one of the dog's name, one of the dog's names was, uh, I don't, I don't really even know the dog's name, but his, his, the dog's, the guy's name is Steven uh, Robertson. And, um, he posted his dog and I'm going to, I'm going to explain it. I, I, I can look at a dog and I can tell instead of debating with people, I'll look at it. I'll just look at it and I'll tell. And, uh, and looking at that dog, I could tell the look in his face was different. So I already know, but don't forget it's 25 years in this game. I did help create this breed. I'm very substantiated championship lineage all the way from the beginning. So I know what I'm doing. I wrote the standard. So the dog's name is actually Herbo. Now Herbo himself, if you look at him, he's a cute little dog but the look in his face tells me you can obviously see the uh extreme which most of the time is a frenchy bulldog mix type of look in the face that that he tends to have now then if we start to dissect the pedigree which he said let's talk pedigrees and considering and i do want y'all to uh y'all say why not go on and debate i had a friend who passed away a very um you know good friend of mine is going back in the day so right now this is just something to get away from my true feelings at the moment but as we break down the pedigree and we click back, you know, one generation and we'll uh, click back. Uh, we'll click back on the mother's side. Let's let's do that. Hold on. I, I'll do that right now. We'll click back on the mother's side first and we'll open the mother's side of Herbo's mother up. And what do we have here? OK, now you guys can do this if you want to or not. But I, I'll tell you how I, how I break it down. And it, and it goes to there. There's a dog called Butler's Gunner. Uh, who's on his mother's side actually the dog looks good but if you look back to third rock kenner uh kennel spider mite spider mite looks like a piece of shit the dog's legs are bold uh he has that same look in his face the more exotic extreme thing and what does he go back to he goes back to the miyagi blood the same miyagi blood that is french bulldogs this is right right at his mom's now if we uh, uh, and i'm not going to take forever but i'm going to tell you what, what i see and why i do that we know the health issues uh miyagi the, well depend on which miyagi you're talking talking about but we've seen several of the miyagis that have the kickstand legs they fall over uh miyagi himself has died 32 times and they've never admitted that he actually died they just kept changing dogs these are the genetics that you would be putting in then you have dax there a dog that died trying to fuck then we have uh 
another an, another dog, um, which is definitely Miyagi because it's Bully Camp's line, Kratos. We all know about Kratos, over, uh, overly done, a bulldog genetics. Had a lot of dogs die on him also. That is very well known. If you go down to this other dog, Pressure Davis, it looks like an English bulldog with his ears chopped off. This is not American Bully. We go down to Money Baby, another one of the Miyagi type dog lines. The dog is a piece of shit. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm saying this because I'm going to give it to you how I give it to you. I, I mean, I don't really give a fuck. I do like the dog up front, which was Butler's Gunner, the way he looks. But remember, it's not always what things look like. It's what's under the hood and the genetics that come with it that make these dogs not what they are. So this man told me, let's talk pedigree. So I'm going to get on here. I'm not going to debate with anybody. I'm just going to go through the pedigree and I'm going to tell you as we open up the pedigree on the other side, we once again, we see it. We see the dog up top is Kratos. And this is behind the uh, dog Simba. But Kratos is there again. Uh, of course, it's uh, a bunch of Miyagi stuff behind Kratos. Then you have the uh, Bullseye. Bullseye, keep in mind, Miyagi and Bullseye were the two dogs originally bland, uh, banned in the American Bully breed for being obvious dogs that had been mixed in and not true American bullies. Bullseye was an English bulldog with his ears chopped. They admitted as much. So um, I go down again, and, and that's the, that the, the explains why the pe Pressure Davis, who's now two times in there, just like the other dog, it explains why he looks like a bulldog with his ears chopped off, because that's what Bullseye was banned from. And then you go down, and I don't even know what this dog is, E-O-G Pugani. Actually has a pretty good front, uh, nice wide chest, pretty solid dog. But once again, you go to the Bully Camp line, Bellagio, Bully Camp's um, Erica Badu. Keep in mind, I told you guys about the Bully Camp, and, and I've told you about a friend of mine who actually had over 30 of those dogs in Florida spent over three hundred thousand dollars total a ton of money on his setup most of the bully camp line dogs do not live very long lives they are in many senses worse than dax their breathing is not good they have a ton of issues this is why he had to continuously replace miyagi after he openly admitted that he used french bulldogs and miniature bulldogs which miniature bulldogs come by the way of, of pugs and boston terriers so it wasn't to hate on you uh my brother what it was is to is state a fact somebody like Marco Suarez, who has used who has used true American bully blood for generations, and has also been very very cognitive of the way that he keeps his line as far as health structure, and he loves the term real American bullies. To add a dog with tons of Miyagi some Dax, a bunch of extreme dogs, and, and, and let's just be real, a bunch of bulldog mixes, a bunch of pugs, a bunch of this, that, and the other behind the dog to create your dog would be lessening the quality of Marco Suarez's dogs. It's not to say that your dog is some hideous monster because the dog has a good front, and from what I see, that's the only pictures I see of him as fronts, but the dog looks pretty solid for what he is, that type of extreme, you know, maybe slash exotic when you start talking about the... Uh, the uh, bully camp blood, but the, re the the reality of the dog is to put that to Marco Suarez's blood and our reality of what true American bullies is, it would have been deadening the blood that we had. Nothing that Miyagi has to offer would make um, especially not way up front like that and compounded with Kratos and all this other shit would make these dogs better. The The amount of genetic issues, the amount of health issues, not to mention all of the scandal and the cheating and the mixing that was behind there that's not American Bully, it would definitely lessen the quality of Marco Suarez's and Paco's legacy to be mixed with those dogs. It wouldn't make something better. It wouldn't make a Mandela and it sure as fuck wouldn't make a bear. That's my shit on it. I spit facts. If you're mad about the facts, I don't know what to tell you. But as far as the way the dog looks for what he is, good looking dog. You know what I mean? Uh, from that front shot, he's a good looking dog for what he is, but that's not an American bully. And uh, he definitely would not make uh, a legendary bloodline like uh, Suarez Bulls any better. It would actually very much so discredit uh, Suarez Bulls. But until next time, y'all, God bless y'all. Much love. Peace.